Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I was glancing back at games that I had planned on revisiting and one game stood out to me, mostly because it got another free update. So I downloaded it and to my surprise I started feeling immersed yet again in the infinite void that is No Man's Sky. Now I was somebody who bought No Man's Sky back in 2016 and I'm also the same person who refunded it back then too, but I do believe in second chances. And I don't think Sean Murray was malicious in his overall excitement of his team's project during that time. What we have now within No Man's Sky is truly an amazing feat that in my opinion should be talked about a little bit more. I wish more people gave it a second chance. I know to some it may be confusing, or maybe a little bit repetitive, but if you allow yourself to become immersed in the mysteries of the cosmos, then you too can enjoy it. Now why make a video on No Man's Sky in 2023? This game creates an opportunity to do something solely for yourself that I think is extremely special. It allows yourself to be immortalized within the game's world, and to me that's one of the coolest things that I've ever had the chance to experience while playing No Man's Sky. From scanning planets, flora, fauna, and resources, it provides anyone who discovers the procedural existence with an author tag, meaning that you are the first discoverer and you will forever be immortalized in No Man's Sky. It probably isn't what most people think of when it comes to No Man's Sky, but it's something that has stuck with me ever since I started playing. In fact, I would love to have left a small footprint somewhere in the world that someone can discover and remember me by, even if it's a small place somewhere out there in a digital world. Just the thought of that seems so cool to me, and I also love that the game's world is virtually infinite. Carving your own path through a vast procedurally generated universe is something I never thought I'd get to experience, or even say, but you can't. No Man's Sky Space Exploration offers one of the most immersive experiences, and I hope it gets explored more often in the future. I would never be able to become a real astronaut, but being able to explore the unknown at my own leisure is something I'm truly grateful for. All that aside, No Man's Sky has provided content and support since their rocky launch back in 2016. I've been tracking all of their updates that they've pushed out over the years, and now the game has so much to do whether you're alone or with a group of friends. Something that brought me back into the game was back in 2021, when they introduced community-driven expeditions. The idea behind these expeditions is that you could start your journey with everyone else being spawned at the exact location and all of you guys work together to complete various objectives, you earn rewards, and progress together through a set of themed phases. Now something I really enjoyed about this specific update was seeing veteran players helping out newer players and prospering together as a team. I love being a part of something grand, and getting that chance to provide towards a common goal is what really felt rewarding to me. No Man's Sky has been a hell of a passion project, and truly, it's been one that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now. While it isn't perfect, it's damn near close. The developers over at Hello Games have provided additional support since launch, only to try and remedy their past mistakes. And they have made up for all of that in my opinion and more. No Man's Sky deserves a second chance, and it's worth mentioning that everything they've poured into this game over the years has been free. Every single update since launch has been free and it's been something they've promised before, and with the ever-expanding universe that they've created for us, they have delivered. Now I do plan on playing No Man's Sky every now and then, as exploring the unknown has always interested me. But if you clicked on this video with any interest at all in this game, then I hope you do get a chance to play it yourself. And I hope the dev team realizes how much it means to someone who appreciates that they didn't give up. I appreciate you all coming by and taking the time to watch my video. I made this video because games have always been an outlet for me. But unfortunately, sometimes the overhype and mixed emotions can ruin not only the project being created, but the passion of the developers making it. I'm just trying to convey that I'm really thankful to see devs who genuinely care about their game and who aren't worried about the money making side of things. If anything, this is a really nice lesson on why you shouldn't give up on the things that you love. And I think that's going to be it for me today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you later.